friends and family. Tonight's Thursday Night Thought is about going from a place of fear to a place of freedom. I wrote a book entitled You and I Inc. The Connection of Sexuality and Spirituality. One of the main themes that runs through this book is the idea of being able to come from a place of fear and enter a place of freedom. And this book is based on my own personal journey. So I feel to give you the best explanation of this is to tell you my story and what it is I believe. I believe that life is here to guide us into our deepest desires and give us our deepest desires. One of the things I believe is, is that humanity's very deepest desire is to be loved and to love and to experience love. And of course, love is the complete opposite of fear. So when I talk about freedom, I want you to conceptualize that as love. And that is what we are all looking for. That is what we all desire. So in my life, one of the things I did to feel loved and experience love is I built these constructs in my life, and I'm gonna use these children's building blocks to give you a visual example. And early on in my life, I built this construct that in order to be loved, I had to be married. And in order to be loved, I had to follow all these rules around relationships and, um, you know, just what I felt a relationship should look like. And the perfect relationship should be, you know, the man talks to the woman and they express their emotions and they, you know, just build their life together. And it's this beautiful thing. And I was very naive to the fact that, you know, here I believe that I'm, I'm going to get married and all my problems are solved. And my husband's going to love me forever and never be attracted to another woman and you know we're gonna have this perfect marriage because we built everything based on our christian principles and and these you know religious ideas this is what's fortifying the structures and making it so strong and so then there came this point where when the fear set in about you know infidelity and and the jealousies that i had and all these different things that i dealt with you know, I would just conquer that fear by saying, well, give me all your passwords. I want to know everything that's going on in your life. I want to, I want to have access to your email accounts. I, I want to be able to know what you're doing at each time of the day. And of course, you know, this seems like a really great thing to do in a relationship because for partnership, you, you want to know what's going on in each other's lives and you want to be respectful and things like that. But this was coming from a totally different place for me. And I knew it was this, this fear that had a grip on me. And so I had built these constructs again, I had built them around different religious beliefs and, um, just my experiences in life and what I felt like needed to be the next thing I could do to control my relationship so that infidelity wasn't a part of it. And then life started showing me things. And what happened is, you know, first life deals me a divorce to my first husband. And all of a sudden, everything it is I believed about relationships, about marriage, about sex and sexuality starts to crumble around me. And then, you know, I carry in these same fears and, and then I carry in fears about my body and what it should look like and how I should be to, you know, attract a man or to keep a man and all these different things. And life's going to take down another block. And life's going to take down another block. And then I get to go through sexual assault. And now all of a sudden, you know, after all of these different things that happen in our life, the things that just bring us to our knees and make us realize that we have absolutely no control because life has now destroyed 
everything I have built as a concept of what it is that I could do to control and feel love and feel loved in the relationship. So what happens? Well, I can either start to rebuild the process again and get in another relationship and, and slowly rebuild my thoughts around control and relationships. It's just going to happen again. And the reason why I believe these things happen to us, this pain, this um, the things that we can't explain, the things that we, for me, I ended up blaming God and getting angry at God for, you know, these things feelings of what do you mean I can't get married again I'm gonna be an adulteress or you know just all of these different things that were coming up within me and I realize now that life was actually giving me a, doing me a favor because at that point where you know, I'd gone through all these different things I was able to look at the pieces of my life and realize all I was doing was believing these things and attaching to these things because I thought I had control over how it is I was loved. But in truth, life wanted to demolish all of it because none of it was giving me security in my marriage. None of it was giving security within myself. It was all a lie. And so when the divorce happened, when I, you know, had these things happen to my body and I could no longer be sexy and strong and, and you know, I had to lay in a bed and, and have a man take care of me, you know, face it, we don't have control of these circumstances, but how beautiful when this happened that I recognized these aren't the things that are keeping me in a place of love and keeping me in a place of freedom. If anything, everything I was building was actually keeping me in a place of fear. So why would life keep me in a place of fear? It makes absolutely no sense. So how beautiful. I go through a divorce. I go through, you know, this detachment from my body is what makes me sexy and makes me strong and makes me all these different things. And I go through sexual assault so that I can understand what happens when we get in touch with that sexuality and, and understand it has nothing to do with God punishing me. God didn't punish me through my life falling apart. God actually said, I tell you what, let's wipe this slate clean. Let's wipe the slate completely clean because none of that is what is making you feel loved. And when I recognized that I didn't have to have control, that I could come to a place where I could literally give up those things. I recognized that life was actually giving me my deepest desire, that I created my deepest reality through everything it is I had gone through. None of that was making me feel loved. All of that was keeping me in fear. So how beautiful when I decided to surrender these ideas around relationships and these ideas around marriage and these ideas around sex and these ideas around sex and sexuality that I actually was able to start fresh with a clean slate and realize that I was loved exactly for who I am, what I believe, what it is I feel, all of these different things, because I believe that love lives within us. And if we are looking for it from anything else outside of ourselves, we are not going to find us. We're not going to find it. 
And we're also not going to recognize that love is what is tearing down all those structures around us. And so in those times of complete and utter, you feel like you've been betrayed, you feel like you can't trust anybody, you feel like somebody's gonna, gonna take your husband or wife from you or any of those feelings of control, when those start to dissipate, that is life saying, I love you. Don't believe that. Come from a place of fear and enter a place of freedom. And that that freedom lives within us. So that's our Thursday night thought. I look forward to sharing our next Thursday night thought together. Thank you for tuning in.